hello there. It's been a while since I've done a video, uh, or at least a Lincoln video, for a match that didn't involve Billy being drunk, uh, which happened at our game at Ebsfleet yesterday. And Ebsfleet signalled the season being over, and um, and it's been a season. Well, it's been a <laughs> it's been a long, long season. Um, I would say I last did a video for the game at Colwyn Bay in December, and I just decided to take a, a long break because. Um, to be honest, I'd fallen out of love with football and um, and the football club, um, and I was planning on moving to either America or Canada, um, and even had several job interviews for companies over there, um, but didn't get any of them. And then a load of shit happened in my personal life, and but long story short, I'm not going over there anymore. And in the last few weeks, I've really started uh, enjoying going to matches again. Uh, so I've decided that as of next season, the videos will be returning, which I'm sure some of you, including Mr. Lucas, whatever the numbers are after your name, will be very delighted after he asked me after a video involving Billy Jarish yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's something to look forward to. However, the videos will be in a slightly different style to normal, because they won't be just focusing on the match, the build-up and all that other nonsense. They'll be focusing on the interactions between different types of people. Now, I can't really give it up t away too much at the moment. Um, but trust me, on the first game of next season, you, 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 you'll understand basically. But I can't actually give it away at this specific moment, although some of you obviously have, a, or some of you obviously know what I'm actually referring to. Um, but yeah, so it'll be it'll be different to the usual style videos, and there'll also be there'll also be a few with match highlights in them, hopefully, because um, right for those of you, I'm going to settle this one for all. For those of you who watch the videos. And keep asking me why there's no match highlights is because I legally can't put them in that club's permission. But I found a lot of them now have YouTube channels, such as Ebsfleet Woking and loads of a few other teams will be playing next season. I'm going to ask them if I can include the match highlights in the um, in the video. Obviously, they might say no, which is fine. But it'll be different than just me showing you the crowd reacting. Um, and this is, it's going to be interesting because I've met a few a lot of new people over the last season or so, especially ever since I stopped doing the video videos that I think would make, be good contributors towards these videos. Like say for example against Ebsfleet we went on um, Billy Jarish booked his own coach and there were a lot of people on there who well basically there were people on there that I enjoy going to matches with now. Uh, Kurt Bright, Mullall, Max, Adam, um, Luke, Jordan, uh, I can't remember name loads of them but there's now actually loads of people that I enjoy going with and I can actually interview and actually get proper sense out of them instead of instead of just feeling fed up when I'm talking to them not those p people specifically but there have been people in the past where I've just interviewed them for the pure sake of interviewing them um, just to get just to fill time but these people I actually enjoy talking to and it's um, and so it promises to make more interesting videos um, there will be two stroke three more of the old star videos before the end of this season though because although the Lincoln season are over there is a team about 15-20 miles away called Gainesville Trinity they're in the Blue Square North and uh, they've made the playoffs and um, if they win those playoffs they face us next season in the league and I really want them to come up because I think that would be awesome playing them in the league um, so they play Halifax in the semi-finals their first leg's on Wednesday and I believe the second one's next Sunday uh, and I'm going to both of them, um, and I'll be doing a a video for it. I'm going to do it as one video rather than two separate videos. Um, and because I do not believe the Blue Square North playoffs are covered by the uh, by the laws of copyright, I'm going to be recording them and uh, putting the highlights on on the videos. Uh, so that'd be nice and different to what's going to be normal. Um, I'm not entirely sure who's going to who else is going to these matches. So it might just be, like the Halifax away game, I can't imagine many Lincoln fans going to Halifax to watch Gainsborough, so I might be on my own on that one. My nose looks really strange in this video, it looks like I've broken it, but no, I haven't. Anyway, um, so yeah, that'll be that'll just before the end of the season, and then if they win through, then I'll go cover the final as well because I'd, I'd love if they came up. Um, in fact, I'd be happy if any of the four teams came Well, I'd be happy if three of the four teams came up. The only one I wouldn't be, it would be non eating because they're scummy fans. We played them in the FA Cup a few years ago. And uh, their fans, uh, well, we scored in the 90th minute to win the game. And their fans um, basically tried to jump over the hoarding, started fights with stewards and police, and then had the nerve to say that they that they were all innocent. Well, you obviously weren't innocent because you caused all that trouble, you fucking idiots. Pardon my French, by the way. Um, so, yeah. Uh, 
but yeah, I hope that explains why the video stopped. Uh, I just fell out, of, fell out of love with football. I, f I fell out of love with Lincoln. I fell out of love with doing the videos. I just, I just, I don't know. I was just trying to move on with my life and trying to achieve something better, um, which I don't think I can be forgiven for. So I think I can be can be forgiven for whatever. Um, but now that I'm staying in the UK, I'm going to be doing the videos. But as I say, there'll be a twist, uh, which I can't really reveal for now. But there will be one. Um, and let's see what else can I say about next season. If I go to Newport on the train, I'll definitely be making sure <laughs> there's a rugby match going on the uh, same day, so I don't end up having to go all the way through to Cardiff again. Uh, and I'm just going to try and make them more interesting for you. I mean, if you all have any suggestions or comments, just use the comment box below. Um, and alternatively, you can keep up with my thoughts on various things, um, including football and my personal life, at my new blog, which is www.nathanjackson1984, is all one word, .blogspot.com. Um, there, there aren't that many blogs about football on this, to be honest. It's mainly about my life and thoughts about certain things that are going on in the world. Um, not like war or politics or anything like that, but other more unusual things. Um, so, yeah. Um, but once I've got this opportunity, I'm also going to advertise something that I love. Um, I've not been paid to do this, I would say. But I just love this so much, I want you all to listen to them and enjoy them. It's a radio podcast called Radio Lab. Or one word, search YouTube for it. It's um, their like radio podcast that lasts about 20 minutes to an hour and 10 minutes depending on depending on the various things um, and they just talk about all these subjects it's so interesting because they talk about stuff you wouldn't know like the amount of stuff I've learned from them over the last like six seven months is amazing and they are, they're the most thought provoking I can't praise it enough it's the most thought provoking provoking thing I've ever ever listened to in my life listen to it seriously you've got to it's really really good but anyway I'm going to leave it there and um uh, for those of you I don't see um, uh, beforehand, I will see you. I will see you next season. And for those of you I do, whether it be uh, in the Gainsborough versus Halifax games, or in Gainsborough versus whoever they're playing the final, if they get that far, or if I happen to run into some random Lincoln fans when I'm at uh, England versus France in Donetsk, which I'm really looking forward to. By the way, I've wanted to go to Donetsk for, for ages. Um, then yeah, I'll see you next season. <laughs>